Hey everyone, for the second time in about an hour or two, it's Jack from Cultaholic. Didn't mean to flood your YouTube subscription inboxes like this, but well, here at Cultaholic, we do aim to get you news rapidly as it happens. And this one has just hit the airwaves, the internet wa the airwaves, the internet waves. And I think you'd agree once you hear it that this news is certainly worthwhile. Uh, Chris Jericho is apparently still signed with WWE. What? That's right, despite appearing on the big screen at New Japan's recent Power Struggle event, uh, and despite calling out Kenny Omega and challenging him to a blockbusting World of Wrestling shattering match at Wrestle Kingdom on January the 4th next year, apparently Chris Jericho is still under WWE contract. This comes courtesy of a report by PW Insider who claimed that Kenny Omega told this to Tokyo Sports. However, when we then went and checked out the Tokyo Sports article, they didn't mention Kenny Omega with regards to this story. They simply said, a related official, which should still give the story a lot of credence. If it's a related official, presumably that is a source from within New Japan Pro Wrestling. But they also mentioned that maybe this is kind of an attempt by WWE and Vince McMahon to attract Kenny Omega and say, look, we'll let you have this big marquee match with one of our top stars maybe then you'll be more likely to want to come and work for us. This is very surprising. I was actually of the opinion that Kenny Omega is very settled in New Japan, but despite this, it does correspond with the tweet sent out today from Vince McMahon's own Twitter account. Now, I'm not naive all the time, and I don't want to suggest that Vince McMahon is wholly responsible for the tweets that go out on his Twitter account. I'm sure he's got a whole social media team working on those, uh, but it, it it is a big sign that there is no ill will between WWE and Chris Jericho. I mean, the tweet said, happy 47th birthday, Chris Jericho. It's his birthday today. Uh, and you know, he's the curator of the list and it really just put him over and really demonstrated that there doesn't seem to be a lot of bad blood between the two, which then lends credence to the story that this whole match and this whole announcement in New Japan was signed off on by Vince McMahon and that Chris Jericho is indeed still under WWE contract. But what does this mean? Like just when I just when I thought I had it all figured out and I thought, wow, Chris Jericho's a genius. He's so far ahead of the rest of the world. He's gonna lead this exodus of top WWE stars over to New Japan. Now it turns out maybe Vince was pulling the strings all along or at least allowing them to be pulled. And I just can't, I just can't get to the bottom of it. I thought I cracked it last week. I thought I'd understood wrestling finally for the first time in my life. But it turns out wrestling like evolution is a mystery full of change that no I've been Jack from Cultaholic. Thank you for watching this news update, the second one in a very short amount of time, I am aware. Um, and yeah, there's not much more to say. What, what do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I sincerely hope you're just as confused as I am. Uh, do follow me on Twitter at Jack the Job and follow all of us at Cultaholic. Uh, and check out our Patreon, of course. I mentioned that in the last video. You can become a patron, a patron, if you enjoy what we do. And yeah, there's not much more to say. Thank you again for watching and do not forget to join us.